Angela Figueroa. Welcome to this class on Mathematics to Make It the Channel. How the previous classes, I believe you really enjoyed it. I'm promising to have a very wonderful one today. Come along with me, take your jacket around, and let's learn together. Today, we are going to talk about the cosine ratios. We learned about the sine ratios in our previous lesson. This is the cosine ratios of 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. We are going to learn about it using the fingers. No calculators involved. So let's do this. Okay, so we know we have five fingers in all. We have one, two, three, four, five. Good. This is the little finger, or the pinky. This is the ring finger. This is the middle finger. Our index finger and our thumb. The little finger represents our 30 degrees. The ring finger represents our 30 degrees. The middle finger represents our 45 degrees. The index finger represents our 60 degrees. And the thumb are 90 degrees. So in this case, when you take the little finger as drawn on the board, we are going to count the fingers above so these ones are above, below, above, below. Then we have a constant denominator of two down. While a square root sign will be used to affect all the numerators. So when you take the little finger, how many fingers do we have above the little finger? We have one, two, three, four. So it means that Because 45 degrees are middle finger. Because 60 degrees 
was my English account as illustrated here. Excellent. Now let's come to the tangent ratio. The tangent ratio. Since we've been able to find the sine and the cos, the tangent will be very easy for you. Tangents cannot be written as a well, tan. So simply tan. When you take a tan, zero degrees, we divide it by the sine over the cos. It means that tan is equal to sine over cos. So we divide it by the numerators of sine over the numerators of cos. Because the denominators were constant. So therefore, they cancel out. So when it comes to tan degrees, it's equal to square root of 0 over 1. Square root of 0 over 1. And it is giving us 0. Tan degrees is also giving us 1 over square root of 3. Why? Because we took the numerator of sine 30 degrees and the numerator of cos 30 degrees. Do you understand it? Good. But this one, we have to rationalize it by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by our square root of 3. 1 times square root of 3 is given as square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is given us 3. And that is what we have here. So we can say that tan 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 on 3. The next we have is tan 45 degrees. We take the numerator of sine 45 degrees as a square root of 2. And the numerator of cos 45 degrees as also a square root of 2. So we put all under one square root sign. They will cancel out to give us 1 as our final answer. 1. The next we have is tan 60 degrees. We pick the numerator of sine 60 degrees and divide it by the numerator of cos 60 degrees. Therefore, we have square root of 1 over 1. And that is given as square root of 3. Any number divided by 1 is the same number. The last we have is tan 90 degrees. Tan 90 degrees to repeat the numerator of sine 90 degrees and divide it by the numerator of cos 90 degrees. And that is what we are having here. Square root of 4 over 0. And that is what 0. We are doing well. Let's go on. Concluding, we can say that there is some kind of similarity between them, between the sine and the cosine. We can say that sine zero degrees, as we've done already, is the same as cos 90 degrees, which is the same as what? Zero. Sine 30 degrees is also the same as cos 60 degrees which is also the same as 1 over 2. Sine 45 degrees is the same as cos 45 degrees, which is giving us square root of 2 over 2. Sine 60 degrees is the same as cos 30 degrees, which is giving us square root of 3 over 2. Tan. Then the last one is sine 90 degrees. Also the same as cos 0, which is giving us 1. So you see, when you are able to identify the sine and the cosine, the tangent becomes very easy for you. And it means that the sine is the reversal of the cos. So simple. Without any calculator, you've been able to find the ratios of all three. Without using any calculator, You've been able to find the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent, and the similarities between them. Please, mathematics is very practical, so make it a 
enjoyable. Thank you for watching this video with me. I will encourage you to practice more on your own. Our next topic will be on quadratic equation. And it's going to be really fun. Learning is fun. See you next time. But until then, please stay safe.